so I guess my journey now begins. Well, I went through the house last night, and apparently I missed that box. But I collected a whole bunch of stuff, and then I dumped it into the workbench over there. And as I did that, I came across the note. It was from an old friend of mine named Paul, from back at the lab. It read... It read that I, myself, and five other colleagues decided that I was going to have my mind wiped and I was going to get dumped into the wasteland where the zombie takeover originally began. So the reason why I wanted my mind wiped so I wouldn't think of anything other than surviving. We all agreed, apparently, that I would spend 300 days out here fighting and killing zombies and that I would have a zombie horde night every seven nights. And that my zombie horde nights would be progressively and increasingly getting harder over time. And at the end it says good luck. So, uh, I guess we're gonna head to town. After I drop this stuff off. We're gonna grab that stone though, I'm gonna make some arrows. Man, so I can't believe that I actually agreed to do something like that. I, I really can't. Uh, but here we are. Uh, we're going to head up to town and see what we can find. So, I was thinking... Man, if I'm supposed to be surviving 300 days out here, what am I going to do to make this work? Oh, shoot! Um, doing that's probably not a good idea. I just picked up honey, too, so hopefully I don't actually need to use it. But if I do, I've got it. So, I know I was... You know, I didn't have my entire mind wiped, right? Just of this plan to come out here and do this. Like, I, I know who I am. I am seven craze, and that is probably why I was willing to do something like this. Ow, ow, ow. Because I am kind of a crazy person. Look, there's there, there's town. Ah, there we go. Now, see, what, what I'm thinking here is I'm going to go through here and try, try to check out some of these smaller buildings and a lot of this trash. And like I said, the, the note read, this is the original location where the zombie broke breakout happened. And that is why this place is so devastating looking. But I'm going to go through each POI here and see what we can uncover. Now, I have a decent amount of inventory space here, but not a whole lot. So I have to be very careful with what I can carry, what I carry, and what I don't keep. This place is kind of small. It's a little little level one, it looks like, huh? Not a whole lot going on. Let's check these things here. Some paper. What's this? Crippling shot. If they can't run, they won't get away. I'll take it. And paper? Good on that for now. So yeah, we just got to survive. 300 days, and then we'll be able to get the heck out of here. Conditioning. Fireman's om Almanac. Alright, let's see. Like I said, we're going to check out some smaller places here. There's an ATM. Working vending machines? Well, at least one. Uh, I'll take the feather. I'm good on everything else right now. But yeah, I mean, I work in a lab trying to help fight the zombie, you know, apocalypse outbreak. But I'm not just, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not just a lab rat, you know? Ooh, what's that? Sharp sticks. If you like point poking holes in things, sharp sticks has covered. Oh, oh, spears, nice. What's that? Toss that. But I was also a field man. Went on many different expeditions 
but never in the wasteland. I've never ventured here. I didn't realize exactly where I was at until, you know, at first I was able to get my bearings. So that's everything. Let's go back around. See if there's a way in. I want to check a lot of stuff here, especially the early stages of 300 days, because I want to try to collect as much useful stuff as I can. Now, I know at some point I'm going to make decisions, sacrifices. I'm going to have to give up one thing or another that I'm going to want really badly, but... That's okay. Let's see if one of these doors are unlocked. That one's not. That one's not. Wonder if rattling doorknobs will wake zombies up. How am I missing the entrance? Like I walked all the way around this building. I am a noob, guys. You guys are aware of that. But there's just supposed to be a way in, right? Is there a ladder somewhere? Am I missing it? Uh, oh, hey, look. What's that? A ramp up up there? Okay. Oh, okay. There's... So is this open? Nice. I knew there was... There had to be one there hiding. Now, I'm not sure exactly what kind of zombies I'm going to encounter out here. Ah. Because, again, this is the original area where the outbreak broke happened. How do you even say that? The outbreak happened, right? So there's mutations out here and stuff that aren't everywhere else necessarily. And I am terrible with a bow. Swishy, swishy. Can I get gas? No. Oh. Can I get another one of those? Oh, uh, no. I got one left. I missed. Let's go ahead and set him on fire, shall we? Uh, I got two arrows back, and he's on fire. That's not too bad. Oh, I missed him, though. I'm that close, and I can't even hit him. I was more of a hand-to-hand -hand combat kind of field man, if you can't tell. There, night-night. Can't get any out of that either? Okay. It's back to that truck. Alright, let's find a way to repair this real quick before we go in. There we go. Don't don't want to catch ourselves in a bind. Are those my footsteps? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's check out this truck too. There's a bag in here. Yeah, right there. And the ladder going up. I see it. I'll eat some corn. Don't necessarily want that. Oh, shoot. He's a businessman, too. Yeah? You, the thing is, you got to keep the upper hand. Because if you don't keep the upper hand... I think I heard another one break out. If you don't keep the upper... Yeah, right there. If you don't keep the upper hand, they will overtake you quickly. So you have to keep the upper hand. All right, I can make more arrows now. That's good. And they're both, man, see, and this is the tougher area. See, I'm in a level one, right? This is a small level POI, and these guys are construction workers. I think the one that I, the first one I killed was also a construction worker. But that one's dead now, so that's good. Whoa, that was close. Get away from me. Zero, zero. <laughs> I don't have stamina. God, he's moving fast. This roof isn't very, very big either. There's a few things in the way. Whew. I hear another one. I hear another one trying to get up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. God, he's so he's so fast. He gets around. He's all right. Give me a breather. Just some uh, crazy stuff going on here already. Like I said, I'm barely getting going. Make 28 of those. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, now let's see where they're trying to get up at here. Right here. 
But if I drop down there, I'm going to be stuck in there. Isn't that how that works? I didn't see a way in from down down there. I need to open a hole. I need to open this. I mean, it, it's smart, right? I'll just break this door down. I hear him. I don't think he's inside, because if he was inside, he'd be at this door by now, wouldn't he? And now I can see through it. That's good. Such a small POI. This is day two. Uh, I don't want to get stuck in there. They, I don't know how many is in there, but they would most likely overpower me. So let's go in here and check it out, right? Hello? Yeah, he's in the bathroom. Stall there. Good. Take him outside. So I don't, I don't know if there's any type of sustaining life out here. Anybody else living out here or what? But I'm going to have to look around. Hopefully we can find somebody alive. Somebody we can barter with. Because you know that if there's other people out here, they're finding things that I'm not finding. So we definitely have to see about who we can mingle with to make a deal. What's this? Ooh, I'll check that in a minute. Don't want this fella sneaking up on me. Oh yeah, he was walking straight to me, so it was really hard to miss that one. Oh yeah, can I get... Yeah, that one sounded like it broke. Can I get that though? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It was on this side, right? I honestly don't remember. Oh, hello. Hello, Ashman. Ashman, stay back. Well, would fire hurt you? Or are you immune to fire out here? Let's see. Let's see if we can catch you on fire. Can Ashman be caught on fire? I knocked him down. Did not catch him on fire, though. Is there something in this car I could use? What's that? Knuckle wraps. I don't know. I don't feel like fight with my bare hands. Oh, hey, I caught him on fire. I did, I did, I did. I caught him on fire. He can, in fact, be caught on fire. Stay away from the pumps, dude. Don't want him blowing up. Oh, nice. Hit him, like, right in the trachea, right? Oh, it's gone. Whatever. Alright. Again, back to it. I open this door up back here. And that's locked, right? Yeah, check that. Ooh! How oh, a toilet pistol! Day two. Well, we are out in the wasteland, so... Finding that is not, should not be much of a surprise. Hello? Hello? Small building, I don't see any of them dropping from the ceiling panels, but you never know. Uh, no. I'm good on that stuff for now. There's some food? Oh yeah, I could eat. What's this again? I picked it up in a hurry earlier. Sharp sticks again, that's right. That's cool. I'm gonna go ahead... I don't know. Oh, there's a sell. There's a sell price here. So, yeah, it must be a trader around this area somewhere because it only shows up when there's a trader in the area. So we'll hang on to that. And I'll take the murky water. That's fine. Can I have it? All right. Whoa. Oh, that's the front. Are they gonna run around and come to me? Yes. Okay. So there's a quick way around there. It looks like. Oh, there's a way to go there, too. Alright, we don't have to run so far this time. Just try to keep him in a circle here. It's a businessman. Oh, no, it's a mechanic. Oh. I don't know if that actually hurts him other than, you know, the flame. Catching him on fire. See, I can't even get to him because flame boy here. One light goes out, another one comes on, and I suck with the bow and arrow, so hopefully I can find some more feathers. Let's 
Slow down, bro. Running like right at my face. Oh, I got him. Oh, no, he's not dead. Maybe I can find me some 9mm ammo while I'm looking inside this place as well. If I can get me a pistol and a toilet, maybe I can get me some ammo. Ow! I guess that was fair. I, I could have been quicker, but... Uh, thought I had more time. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's go back in. I wonder if that's all of them. Those, those sham sandwiches will make your belly sick. Unless you got a high tolerance for that kind of stuff. For old sandwiches that have been sitting in boxes. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it unless you got a stomach for it. Okay, now that's open to go outside. That's that's quicker way out. All right, we can check this out. Yeah, okay. Oh, so, okay, see, they're dropping from the top panels there. All right. Let's see. Why do I have duct tape? Uh, down in my hot bar. <laughs> Is it just this little skinny guy? Skinny guy. Hey, 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 back up. Don't, don't touch. Don't touch. I don't even know if I have a first et first aid kit, dude. Ah, uh, dude, he's zigzagging too. This little guy's quick. I gotta remember that. Yeah, he's down though. Let's see if I can't get him hit. I can get hit, huh? Ouch. Oh, and there's another one. Not quite as in a hurry as the little skinny guy. Oh, and then there's a nurse back there. And also, guys, I've been thinking, right? So, the house we, you know, spawned, you know, got dropped in is a nice place to have a horde base and other things. You know, I could live there. We could set different traps up. But I got to thinking, even though there's a nice, very nice trap base preset up there, that we could probably just run around here using pre-existing buildings out out here as we because we're going to be surviving you know 300 days or trying to survive 300 days and i mean it's the real life now just because there's nothing else this is it plus small communities around wherever yet to be discovered oh missed that headshot there how am i missing she moves so slow all right anybody in here See what we got to drink. Ooh. Yes. Drink me a little bit of beer. Oh, some 762. You know, I need to take the edge off. Things have been a, bit, a little bit rough in the last couple days. You know? Waking up realizing that it was all part of the plan. Like, I, I didn't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was super nervous. Oh, shoot. She's back. She making her way in here? Where you at? I swear, if she was inside, I was going to be like, what the hell? Let's see how we hit with our bare fist. Oh, yeah, I got the knuckle wraps. Uh, okay. I think I might try these for a little while. I mean, I know you, you're a little stronger when you drink, so. <laughs> All right, let's go on in here. Check out what we have on these shelves. Can I not loot that? Thank you. So yeah, we're just going to make our way through this wasteland. And see how we can overcome. We will try to pick an area where we will keep all our main stash stuff. and But we will continue to move around and explore. And use different POIs, as the note said, horde nights that get increasingly worse. 
every seven days. So I imagine the zombies are just going to get harder in general as the days go on. So we, too, need to become stronger. And this needs to become lootable. Thank you. Oh, some more home cooking weekly. Gotta love that. That can go on the ground. That blueberries can go in my pocket. Oh my goodness. Did I just... No, I don't want that in my pocket. Go away. Uh, bar brawling. See, now I've got the knuckle wraps. This will make... Uh, it no longer... Vi ah, it no longer blurs my vision. And lasts twice as long. That's, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and read that. And a bone knife. Nice. A level 3 bone knife at that. Nice little pick here. Oh. What? What what just happened? I don't I don't know what I thought the ground was or the Yeah, giving out on me. Should I get up there and check? See if I can find anything up in the the, the false ceiling there? Nah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Some coffee in here? Nah, I'll take the murky water. Make some more arrows. Ten more of them. Nice. Get that box. Ooh, what's that? Bone. Getting a lot of lead here. Quite a bit of lead. We'll come back maybe and uh, check that stuff out. Maybe. Probably not. We're going to move on. Head towards the city here. Oh, shoot. Did not expect that. What? Four crawlers laying in the bed of that. That's that's crazy. Five crawlers. What? And they're just all lining up for me. Maybe I, maybe I should... Uh... <laughs> I'm, out of, oh, I'm out of stamina already. Kinda wish I had some more beer. You know what? I may make that my main way to survive for a while. Is using... Nah. Screw that. I mean, I am pretty used to it. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. With fist, but... Uh, he almost got close enough to get me. Yeah, I'm gonna get up here and check this bag for a minute. See what we can find. Maybe some 9 mil. One piece of cloth. For real. We could use a drink right now. So let's go ahead and drink this red tea. And we'll also check out these challenges here. We got a couple of them. We got hunt animals, which I did. Yes. And then scrapping items, which I did. And that's it there. Let's see, we got two skill points. What can we throw that in here? Maybe... No, nah, I, I really don't want to put it in a brawler. Like, the idea sounds really nice, but... I don't really want to go down that road. Uh, I want to have something that is a beast, but I think that I'm going to build my main, my character just around, you know, these 300 days we're going to be focusing on firepower, weapons, um, and archery. So I'm going to go ahead and put a point in archery here and gunslinger to help us try to get more books as well. I don't think you get corn out of the dead ones. So, I mean, that makes sense. All right, let's see. This place is creepy. There's a decent-sized POI right here. Joe's USA. Okay. Check these newspaper dispensers here. Let's see what kind of book we get here. Spears. That's okay. I'll learn spe about spears, too. Crafting spears is probably really nice. Handy hand. Landing handy land. <laughs> nice. From home repair enthusiast to professional repair, man. You've got it curved. Covered. Proof repair tool. Ah, that's, that's what's up. We got it covered. You heard that. Oh, he dodged that one up. Ah. 
not hanging on to pipes. Not yet. Is there a dog in there? I don't see a dog. I do see a dog house. That's that's scary as fuck. Scary as fuck, guys. I seen the dog house. I don't know if there's a dog in there or not. Okay, they're coming to the gate. I don't know why they're coming to the gate. So now I can go in there and see if I can't like awaken the dog or find out where he's laying at. Without him coming to me, but it's really hard to see, and I think that's the point. But I have these handy dandy blocks here. Where's he? At? There he is. All right, let's see if I can't make any more arrows before I go in. Three more. Okay. So we got eleven all together. Where's his? That's his head right there. Let's see if I can't get that headshot. Yeah, I got the drop on you, pup. They're breaking that door down. I'm not worried about those arrows. I'm, I'll, I'll get more stuff to make arrows. Oh, they're inside there, huh? What? There's a floating bag. The laws of physics do not exist here. <laughs> that sounds pretty disgusting. These guys still over there. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what kind of drop these arrows have. Ah, I nailed that guy, though. What about her in there? Missed. Can't reach these guys. Oh, man, there's just... Ah, here we go. Yes, get up here. Get up here. Come on. I know I'm cheesing it, but I don't want to get hit. I got 83 hit points left, but there you go. Just don't want to risk it, you know? Hopefully there's not too many of them in here. What's this? Armed up. Oh, armor design modern. Okay, cool. Crafting skill is improved. Is that it in here? Are my arrows still over here? Whoa, she's moving fast. Not anymore. Gotta be the one that's still in there. You gotta be the one that's still in this in here. Check out this floating bag. Oh, hey, first aid. That's nice. I'm not going to use it right now, though. Hello? Come over here. Over here. Yes! Got him. Come over here. Come here. How, how do I survive if I go in there? You know? That was super freaking close. And I forgot knives work really well. <laughs> Alright, I barely made it through that. I'm still not wanting to use that first aid yet. I know that might be a bad idea. But I want to try to hold off. My health will go up as my food goes down. Uh, there's no way out. I better use that first aid. I better use it, huh? Alright, fine. See if I can't manage here. Hopefully it's not too overrun. I don't have nowhere to go. I can get out. That is awesome. Can they get out? I mean, they want to run to that side. So I doubt that they can get out. Do I have any food? Yes, give me something. Alright, I'm going back in. Come here. Come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, so stabbing them like that, as long as there's not many of them, works pretty good. Can I open that door from here? Yes. Do I want that door open? Another question. Hello? Can you guys see me? Anybody watching CCTV?
Hello? Anybody watching? I'm glad I was able to jump up. Can you guys make it over here, though? Can I put a block? Preventing them from jumping over here somehow. Alright, come here. I got bleed damage on her. Come here. Come here, y'all. Yeah, get back up here. Get that bleed damage. Come on. Come on. Hit. Ah, what? Is she just taller? What? Why can't I stab him? This game is flawed. Can I hit, can I hit with this? Where are you going? Oh, don't hit that. Is there, is there a key to open a door? Where's it at? Is that it? I don't know, I'm going to make a break for it, though. Because that door's got to open, right? Now, it looks like a calendar, not a key. Oh, there it is. I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, we're making a break for it. Alright, we made it. <laughs> out, at least. Alright, come on out, guys. Finish you up out here. Yeah. See, that's the one I had bleed damage on. So, knife guy is nice. I like that. Oh, um, oh, what is this? Yeah, I kind of like the knife style. It's been a long time since I used it. Two of those bad boys. Gold rod. Golden rod. I'll take it. Let's see what we can find in here now. More 7.62, which is nice, but I'm looking for 9mm. If you can help me out with that, that's great. What's this? Legendary parts. Preserved in their factory packaging. Okay. That's cool. We'll have to really look at that later. It's a piece of armor here. This is a ranger outfit. Oh, yeah, that's right. They redid the the armor and stuff. So this... Okay, I'll just go ahead and put it on. As I get more armor, I will look into it. Seeing the different effects it has and the bonuses it gives you for having sets. I don't know if they do set bonuses. Oh, there's two painkillers right there. I think after we get done clearing up in here, we'll just go ahead and stash uh, most of our belongings here. And uh, we'll stay here for the night. Wait, I'm going to have to... Wait a second. That's messing with me. Let's look at that for a moment. Let's go ahead and take that off. Where's it at? Right here? Let's compare it. So this one here is max medium armor. That's light armor. Probably want to go ahead and keep wearing this. That'll be good. But yeah, we'll finish clearing this out here and we'll we'll camp here for the night. And we'll see about checking out some other stuff in the morning. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Would really appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.